This two minute tutorial looks at checking items out to a patron, including how to change due dates during the transaction. Open a patron record. If you are not on the checkout view, select that tab. Scan or key in item barcodes in the box that says scan or enter item barcode. If needed, you can also use the find tool to look up an item for checkout. As you scan, you will see pop-ups confirming the checkout status. It will tell you if the checkout was successful as shown here or unsuccessful, which is a red pop-up. If for some reason you cancel the checkout mid-transaction, a yellow pop-up will appear confirming that the transaction was canceled. A running list of items checked out appears under the scan box. During checkout, you may also encounter items with blocks. After the item is scanned, a pop-up will appear with a block alert. There are options that allow you to cancel the transaction, view the item record if you want to investigate further, or depending on your level of permissions, can either select continue or have a supervisor enter an override to check the item out. Let's look at two methods for changing item due dates during a checkout transaction. The first method using the special loan tool is used for changing due dates before items are scanned. To use, click on special loan. Use a calendar to select the new due date or enter a value in the loan period box. You can opt to apply this due date only to the next item scanned or to all items in this session. Click OK to apply the changes. Remember, the new date will apply only to items scanned after the special loan date is set. The second method to change due dates is the Reset Due Date tool. This is used if you need to change a due date after items are scanned. To activate the tool, one or more items from the list needs to be selected. You can select the items you want to change one at a time or select the checkbox at the top of the list to select all. Once the items are selected, click Reset Due Date. A calendar will open and you can select the appropriate date. A confirmation pop-up will appear if the reset was successful. When all items are checked out, select Complete to finish the transaction and close the patron's record. Leap will prevent the work form from closing until Complete is selected. Once the transaction is complete, Leap closes the patron's record and, depending on your library settings, will either automatically print a checkout receipt or will prompt you to print a checkout receipt. This has been a two-minute tutorial on checking out in Leap. If you have any questions, please email help at ccslib.org.